I'm about to show you one simple tip that will drastically improve your defense in Madden 23. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Duke, back here from SportsGamers.com. And in today's Madden 23 tip video, I'm going to show you guys something that's going to change your game defensively. It's drastically going to improve your defense. It's super easy to do. It's super effective. This is something everybody's going to want to implement into their game. So, this year, guys, there's just a lot, a lot of tells, dead giveaways that basically tell your opponent what defense you're running before the play even begins. Now, a smart offensive player this year is probably running some sort of compressed set, either some sort of tight, maybe, maybe a bunch, you know, something that's going to give them these tells. There's honestly tells you can do from almost any formation on offense, but those formations especially give you a lot. Now, just to show you guys what I mean, I'm gonna break down some of the tells and then I'm gonna give you guys the tip so you can counter this and you're gonna notice your defense is gonna be a thousand times better when you implement this one simple tip. So honestly guys, you could do this from a lot of formations effectively, but um, nickel over is one of my favorites to do this from. Nickel over is one of the best formations in the game. You see me drop a lot of tips on this formation this year. You can find it in some different books. My favorite to use it right now is out of the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. So let me just get straight into it. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So let's just come out of an Overstorm Brave, for instance. So we're out of an Overstorm Brave. And, you know, let's just look at how this play looks. This is a cover zero blitz a lot of people like to use, right? Um, let's just look. This is clearly Overstorm Brave or a cover zero blitz. And how do I know this? Because the safeties are backed up about 10. 10 yards off the line of scrimmage and then also just looking at the outside corners you know it's it's clear it's clear to me that this is a cover zero blitz if i'm on offense just honestly just looking at the safeties alone now i want to show you guys the difference between say a cover zero blitz and some of the other popular plays people like to use like match coverages maybe even a two man under that type of stuff but before i do that i do want to remind you guys i have free madden 23 tip videos i do gameplays i do news Daily Madden 23 videos on my YouTube channel. So if you enjoy this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're really rocking me, smash that like button. I'd love to get to 300 likes on this video. And also commenting on the video helps a lot. You can literally comment whatever you want. It can be one word, an emoji, whatever. It's going to help. So I definitely appreciate it. And let's get right back to it now. So now this is cover four match, cover four quarters. And, you know, this is a great defense to mix in this year. When you turn your match coverage and your uh, coaching adjustments on, match coverage is really nice. But a smart offense player will look and they'll know, hey, I mean, this is not cover zero. This is match. How do I know? Well, look at the depth of the safeties. The depth of the safeties is about, you know, 13, 14 yards. Look at the depth of the corners. They're a little bit deeper than a cover zero blitz. So look, audible into uh, cover zero blitz. Check this out. You see that the safeties and the corners move. Like I said, a smart offensive player, he's going to know this stuff. He's going to notice. And there's even more. Um, you know, what if what if you, I mean, there's plenty more, honestly. What if you want to mix in a cover two? Well, let's look at how cover two looks. So you guys can see again, there's a little bit of a difference here. Look at the way this cover two lines up. And let me compare it to, say, uh, Overstone Brave. Again, the safeties is a big difference. But then also, when you're a man, I don't know if you guys noticed this, these corners slide in too. For my free YouTube content, I highly recommend checking out sportsgamers.com. This is where I post all my premium content for Madden 23. I have offensive and defensive ebooks, schemes, plus I do four to six premium tips every week in the Madden Vault to keep you guys ahead of the game. Our best offer yet is the Sports Gamers Madden VIP membership. This is the best Madden membership anywhere on the net, the best content at the best price. You would access to the entire site for only $24.99. This means all of our ebooks, all of our Madden Vault tips, plus you even get access to our meta reports and our exclusive VIP members only community. I also do one on one coaching as well for you guys that are interested in that. See you at sportsgamers.com. If you're serious about winning more games, I will post a link in the description as well as in the comments. The outside corners not only change their depth vertically, but oftentimes they slide in horizontally as well. Whereas in the cover four quarters, look at this. Again, backed up safeties, backed up corners further off. And in the cover two, compared to the cover four, 
it's basically the safeties that are at uh, the depth of the cover four, but the corners are more at a man depth. So again, this is to me, this is super obvious it's cover two. I know it's not cover zero because of the safeties, and I know it's not cover four because of the corners. But again, let's look at the cover four corners. See, I mean, it's just so obvious. Look how they're backed up, and they're even turned to the inside looking at the receivers. I mean, this type of stuff is so noticeable, and there'll be different tells kind of depending upon what formations you're actually running yourself. So this this is the type of stuff you can't have on defense. Uh, let's actually look at a man-to-man -man with the two deep safeties. Obviously, there's even more obvious things like when you have single eye safety looks. But here's the man-to-man. -man. So this is clearly cover two man. I mean, we just had auto flip on for all those plays. And every other play, the nickelback was on the left. But now he's on the strong side of the running back side. That alone tells me it's cover two man. Like, because if it was, if it was cover zero, cover two, cover four, etc., the nickelback's on the other side of the screen. So that just gave it away by itself. <laughs> and even when people pinch their defense, it's precious the corners, you can notice this stuff right away because they can't, I mean, when you break the huddle, you just immediately look at those where those DBs are and you can see this. I mean, you can see this. And then, you know, it's, it's just so obvious. Let's, like, <laughs> it truly is. Again, look, 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 audible to something else, the guy runs across the screen. So as you guys can see, no matter what coverage you pick, there's a lot of ways that a smart offensive player can know what you're doing. So, how do I counter this? Look, this is about to blow your mind. Literally, all you have to do is put your auto alignment on base. Ever since I've been playing Madden, uh, that they had base alignment in the game. Uh, this was just such an incredible tool. I used to baseline every play no matter what. It's kind of like... Certain years, it's not a big of a thing. But this year, the way defense is, you definitely want to do it. So you do see I have my zone cover set to match in case I want to play match. But auto alignment, I put on base. So now, guys, just look at the look at the difference this makes. So look at how the defense looks when I break the huddle. This is cover zero blitz. This is over storm break. The corners are backed up. They're probably eight ish yards off the line of scrimmage, and they're you know they're they're out wide. The safeties, you know, they're backed up. They're at about, you know, 14, 13 yard difference. So let's see what happens if I audible to cover four. Nothing. Still the same. Let's see what happens if I audible to cover three buzz. Nothing. They're still the same. Cover one. They're still the same. And now I can, in any of these plays, I can pinch my defense. And now they'll just line up over, you know, just like this, as I wanted them to. Pressed up. Um, you know, again, pinch my defense. And it looks exactly the same. Just cover zero, pinch my defense from cover four. Again, looks exactly the same. The, you know, there's no tells here. There's literally no tells. So this is just a super easy way. You can disguise your defense and prevent these tells from occurring. I definitely recommend doing this against somebody who's running these types of formations. Otherwise, they're going to be able to exploit you and know exactly what you're doing very, very easily. Here's cover two man. Again, notice how with the base alignment on, the DB stays on the left of the screen. I just go ahead and pinch my defense. We're good. We're good. So this is going to allow all your defenses to look the same and not give away tells. You, you know, as an average player, you might think this is not a huge deal. But let me tell you, it's, a, it's the biggest deal. When you play a good player and you're giving away tells to what your defense is every single play... They're going to call plays to beat your defense, and then you wonder why it seems like they always know what you're running. It's because you're giving your defense away before the play even begins, and you didn't even realize it. But now that you have this tip, you know how to make your defense disguised and always look the same. The only thing is that you still need to be aware of obvious single high looks. Uh, you know, I wouldn't really recommend running a cover three sky. I mean, you, you will be able to keep the safety... The, you know, a single high look with a two deep. So basically, guys, if I had base and line off, cover three sky would be a single high safety. But because I have base and line on, you know, he does he does basically keep him, even though it's supposed to be a single high look, because base line's on, he's going to stay deep. It's going to be a, a two high look, even though it's supposed to be a single high. Now, I can go ahead and pinch. Everything's going to be the same. I want to recommend doing that, though, because the thing is when you're running these types of defenses uh, that are kind of like designed to be single high look like this or single high look and you base a line and then you pinch 
you see that all the other plays that I when I pinch my defense, the corners would come directly over the top of the receivers uh, in these tight formations. It's not doing that here. So like here, if I audible to the cover four, see how I pinch my defense again. Now it's messed up. So that's why I want to really recommend running these uh, single high looks. I would just come out in the overstorm brave to cover zero. Um, you know, audible to whatever play you want to run. You can pinch your defense, and now everybody's directly over top of the players. Regardless if you run the cover one, the cover zero blitz, the cover four quarters, even cover three buzz seam, you know, he, they're going to line up the same way. And you, you're probably wondering why this works from cover three buzz seam, but not cover three sky. And the reason is cover three buzz seam is actually a too high safety look, even without it on baseline. So let me show you what I mean. Just before we end the video, in case you're confused, if I turn my auto alignment back to default, so this is just going to line up how they would default with no base alignment. I'm not no longer even using the tip. You guys can see the cover three buzz scene. You know, it has the two safeties deep by default. It's, it's a too high look. Whereas if I came out and cover three sky without base alignment on, see what I mean? This is single high look, right? So we're giving away our coverage, right? So that's why I wouldn't really recommend using the baseline trick with plays that are designed to have a single high safety because it's just not going to work the same. Um, as you guys noticed, it was clearly different. The corners were going to be spread out against compressed. Now, if someone was not running compressed, like say someone was running spread, I mean, that wouldn't be as huge of a deal because, you know, it wouldn't be a compressed formation to even, you know, notice this. But a lot of people do, as you guys know, run these compressed formations. So like here... You know, we can just go ahead and, and pinch our defense. And because it's a spread formation, they they don't notice because, you know, the corners and receivers are both out wide. So it's not as obvious. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this tip. It will make a huge difference in your game, guys. Trust me, you do not want to be giving away your defense before the play even starts. This is definitely something super, super easy to implement. It will make a huge difference. So if you enjoyed this tip, smash that like button. Until next time, it's do.